My name is Jeff Sands. I'm an emergency physician from Kelowna, British Columbia. I'm going to be demonstrating how to perform the extended fast examination using the Claris scanner and the Claris clip-on attachments. For the first part of our extended fast examination, we're going to examine the lungs looking for any sign of pneumothorax. We'll center the scanner between two ribs you can see as dark shadows with a bright hyperechoic line just superficial to it. Here we can see demonstrated normal lung sliding or shimmering of the two pleural layers sliding on each other, indicating absence of pneumothorax. We can go ahead and move to the contralateral hemithorax and repeat the process. The next step will be looking at the heart using the subxiphoid window. We'll be looking for any sign of fluid in the pericardial space. If you're not able to generate adequate views from the subxiphoid area, you can use the Claris clip-on attachment to generate views from the precordial windows. To generate our parasternal long axis view, we'll start in the precordium with the scanner indicator pointed towards the patient's right shoulder. From here, we can turn the scanner 90 degrees to generate our parasternal short axis view, fanning through the short axis view, and finally sliding the scanner towards the apex to generate our apical four chamber view. Next, we'll examine the peritoneal space for any signs of free fluid. We're going to start by scanning the right upper quadrant. We're going to examine Morrison's pouch between the liver and the right kidney, fanning through to ensure that we find any small collections of fluid. We also want to ensure that we're seeing the inferior tip of the liver. Finally, we will turn our attention to the diaphragm looking at the liver diaphragm interface and looking for any sign of fluid on the opposite side of the diaphragm. For the next part of our FAST examination, we're going to examine the left upper quadrant, looking for any sign of free interperitoneal fluid. We'll use the spleen as our acoustic window to visualize the space between the spleen and the left kidney. We want to make sure that we can see the inferior tip of the spleen as well. And finally, we want to make sure that we can see the interface between the spleen and the diaphragm from 6 to 9 o'clock. For the final phase of the FAST examination, we're going to examine the pelvis, looking for any sign of free fluid between the bladder and the rectum. We'll fan in a long axis the patient's left and right to make sure that we don't miss any small, subtle collections of fluid. We'll switch to a short axis Again, fanning caudally and rostrally to ensure we don't miss any small collections of fluid. 